All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Wahawah Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and salutations to the hopefully elect out of Tolan in his truth. I'm Pathaka Moth, JMS Dallas, and I'm just coming back at you with a really quick hit lesson, man. I don't really don't know what, the, what I'm going to title this just yet, but I'm going to deal really quick with, with uh, you know, the Gentile issues. I'm not going to get too deep. Uh, you know, I'm just going to, I got to, you know, few few uh, a few precepts and points to make that really makes it all very clear who the gentiles are you know what i'm saying and i know like the I mean, there's a uh, the apostles and, and and elders and bishops you know our elders here you know they they've went into these things you know elder yashawamba and you know many other elders have went into this thing uh and and went very deep into it you know i'm not gonna do that man you no know, this this is gonna be quick and to the point, man, just I'm going to hit some 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 key points, get in and get out, man, because it's not that hard, man. You know, you got these uh, vocab alone and and these Christians, you know, even in, in the unlearned, even probably some of these Israelites that know they're Israel out here, you know, which I know there's some trying to save uh, uh, Esau, you know, the other nations, but primarily Esau. They're not really worried about Moab, you know, the Chinese, you know, uh, uh, Ammon, the Japanese, you know, Ham, the, the Africans, so-called Africans, uh, you know. Uh, Ishmael, the uh, the Arabs, you know, Elam, the uh, the uh, East Indians, you know, they're not really worried about these nations, man. They're 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 primarily worried about uh, uh, Esau, Edom, you know, these Edomites, man, so called self proclaimed white man, woman, and child, you know, because of Stockholm syndrome, they're so beat down and and, and you know by these people, you know, and and you know been shown no love, you know, and Jake wants the love of Esau, man, so bad, you know that you know yeah they're willing to to basically you know refuse their own salvation if he if they can't share it with him man you know to show how much they love this dude man these people man these wicked they're the wicked man you know of the bible they're devils man you know they're liars you know satan you know all of these things man you know it's talking about him you know these people man you know they're the true red people of the bible and uh you know i'm just gonna deal uh, really quick uh you know with the with the whole Gentile, <laughs> you know, issue, I guess, or, or subject, you know, for, for, for lack of better words, you know what I'm saying? Because they love to run to Paul to uh, uh, try to make their points when really, if you pay attention to, to Paul's writings and if you really understood what Paul was writing is Paul makes it very clear as to who he's speaking about, man, you know? So where is the confusion? And and that's exactly what it is, confusion, which brings me to actually my first uh, 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 scripture. Let me get that real quick in 1 Corinthians, the 14th chapter and verse 33. Going into that, man, because that's what it is. It's just it's a bunch of confusion, man, because the, the, the scriptures, the Bible is very clear. Uh, this is 1 Corinthians 14 and 33, and it reads, for the most high is not the author of confusion. You know, yeah, the most high, this is, this thing is very clear and to the point, you know, when the, when the Lord put his spirit on these men to, to, to put, write the, uh, to scribe these things, write them down, you know, he, he was very clear, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So where did the confusion come from? It comes from men, you know, the unlearned, the, the wicked, you know what I'm saying? Who, whom at this time, the earth is uh, uh, given into his hand or his power, you know what I'm saying? So he has the power to, to put confusion and lies out here, man, you know, to confuse the masses, you know, but primarily Jake, man. And, and when I say Jake, I'm talking about the the uh, the the true Israelite, biblical Israelites of the Bible, man, the, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans and Seminole Indians of Negro descent. You make up the 12 no longer lost tribes of the nation of Israel because we know who we are in these times, man. You know, we know who our enemies are. You know what I'm saying? Which is all 17 other nations outside of the nation of Israel, man. You know, and uh, primarily these Edomites, the true red Hebrew Edomites, which uh, uh, go back to their forefather Esau, which consists of the so-called white man, woman, woman and child, so-called, you know, because they're not they're, they're not white, man. There's no black people. You know, there are no white people. You know, you have two uh, uh, biblical uh, uh, color schemes in the Bible. That's red and brown, man. You know what I'm saying? When you understand that. You know what I'm saying? And and really, all nations are melanated, so-called brown, different shades of brown. And and Esau, the so-called self-proclaimed white man, woman, and child are the only nation that's uh, 
that red, the, the actual red people in these times, man, going all the way back to the garden during the time of Cain, when the Lord put uh, uh, put that mark on Cain for killing Abel, his brother Abel, you know, which he had the spirit of, of, of Satan, the serpent, you know, which that same spirit was in Cain and that same spirit went throughout all the way down to the day. And, and that same spirit is in the so-called self-proclaimed white man, woman and child, man, you know, wicked, that wicked line, man. You know what I'm saying? And that mark got put on him back then. Uh, of, of 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 that pigment being taken from him no melanin man you know what i'm saying which that melanin is is a deep uh, a thing man it goes past uh skin tone you know what i'm saying this is very it's a very deep topic you know and uh but it goes back to the garden and that and that uh happening man that event man where where they that was taken you know what i'm saying and and the actual first uh birth recorded birth was during the time of Jacob and Esau when he when when Esau came out red all over like a hairy garment, you know he didn't come out red and hairy. He came out red, and that red that color red was associated to a garment, a hairy garment, which we would uh, uh, dye a particular red back then. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's going into. But he came out red, you know, and they still have that uh that uh that mark, that defining mark on them. All the way into today in these end times, man, we, we can look at these people, you know, and all of those things are still on them, man. You know, going back to Genesis, the 25th chapter, eating the, uh, basically the raw uh, uh, meat. You know, that's why they, they, they like their uh, their meat uh, tartare or, or uh, you know, basically, uh, you know, what, what, what a fire just barely, you know, touches it, you know. So it's basically raw, man. <clears throat> you know, so these things are still on these people, man. All, all these uh, uh, defining marks, you know, to, to prove who they are as well as the Israelites, man. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, uh, we, yeah, just we're going to get into this, man. So this 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 first Corinthians 14 and 33 for the most high is not the author of confusion. He's very clear, but of peace, as in all the churches of the saints, as we know who the saints are. The saints are the Israelites, man. Psalms 50 and 5. You know, no one was in the wilderness with Moses, received the covenants of the Lord, but the but the Israelites, man, you know, uh, uh, Psalms 148 and verse 14. <clears throat> so I can and uh, Psalms 149 verses one and two, man, uh, prove who the who the saints are, the Israelites, man. So when the scriptures speak of the saints, talking about the Israelites, man, you know, and uh, really, when you deal with this particular uh, uh, scripture, the most High is not the author of confusion. It, it covers it really covers. Everything is talking about the whole script uh, Bible, but uh, the the very the verse right before it goes into the, uh, the the spirits of the prophets being subject to the prophets. Immediately after that, he says the Most High is not the author of confusion. And when you read under that, it goes into the women. You know what I'm saying? Let them be silent in the churches. You know, learn from your man. If you will learn, if she will learn anything, learn from your man at home. You know, which goes into a, a, a First Timothy, the second chapter, where it doesn't. Uh, uh, he, he doesn't uh, usurp, not to usurp authority over the man, you know, and he doesn't uh, uh, allow these women to teach, you know what I'm saying? Because it, really they weren't given the, 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 the knowledge or, or the understanding, man, the wisdom and understanding to be able to teach properly. You know what I'm saying? But for those who were given certain things, yeah, you can teach women and, and, and children, man, you know, but you got these women in, in, in these churches, man, trying to call themselves ordained ministers and, a bunch of madness and confusion. That's two topics right there within the, that one chapter, <laughs> you know, because these people don't believe in reincarnation. You know, they don't believe the prophets are here, you know, and then after that, going into these women. So that and, and in between both, what did the Lord say for for the most high is not the art of confusion because he did those two. Those are two key topics of confusion, man. <laughs> You know, amongst others, you know what I'm saying? A lot of the Gentiles confusion, you know what I'm saying? So, but the, the it's not, it's, that's not from the Lord, man. You know, that's these men, man, you know? So right there, the Lord is not the author of, 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 of confusion. So there is no confusion. So let's really quick, let's get into this, man. You know, cause they love to run to Paul. So let me, let me, I'm gonna go to Romans the ninth chapter real quick. Cause Paul was very, you know, very precise and very clear on who he's dealing with. And we're going to make a couple of points real quick just to prove that. This is Romans chapter uh, 9 and verse 1. I'm starting at the top. I say the truth in Christ, Hamashiach, I lie not. So the, 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 this is Apostle Paul, and he's letting you know, man, he's, he's being very sincere about what he's about to say, man. You know what I'm saying? 
I say the truth in Hamashiach. I lie not, you know. My conscience also brand me witness in the Holy Spirit. So he was heavy in the spirit when he was going into this, man. You know, very serious stuff right here. Verse two, that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. There it is, that heavy, that spirit, it was heavy on him, man. You know, he was very deep in the spirit, man, and thought. It says, for I could wish that myself were a curse from Hamashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. So he says, basically, Paul is saying he wish he could have took the place of the Lord and went through the things that he went through for him, for his brethren, his kinsmen, according to the flesh, man. You know, which is one of the reasons uh, Paul in his epistles, his, his letters, his writings, he would always refer to. Uh, uh, starting it off, uh, uh, brethren, you know, because he's talking to his brethren, his kinsmen, according to the flesh, man. You know what I'm saying? And and that kinsman is a key word. You know what I'm saying? Because as a matter of fact, when you when you uh, what is it? Uh, let me do something real quick. I'm gonna get a which really I wanted to. Let me see something real quick. Man, my phone running slow. It's a lot here. Uh, yeah, I just uh, uh did a a, a, word, a definition word set a Google word search on kins, kinsman, and it says a man who is one of a person's blood relation. <laughs> blood, you know, this is, there ain't no ain't no spiritual going on here, man. It's a bloodline, man. You know what I'm saying? So kinsman is a man who is one of a person's blood relation. You know what I'm saying? That's your relative. That's your kinfolk, man. And we say that in which all of those are synonyms. Kinfolk, you know, kinsman, uh, a kinswoman, which we'll get into it Let, real quick. There's a movie, I believe, uh, with uh, Patrick Swayze a few years back called Next of Kin. So real quick. Let's type in next of kin <clears throat> uh, definition, my bad. And it says next of kin, which is that kinsman, you know, that kins, you know, it says next of kin, uh, a person's closest living relative or relatives. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's our actual relative, but it's 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 a bloodline because of the uh of the uh let's go back. Yeah, your kinsman. This is a, a bloodline, man. You know, it says a man back to kinsman, a man who is one of a person's blood relationship. So it's by blood, man. But check this right here. When you go into the similars, it says relative, relation, uh, which they got right there, blood relation slash relative, family member, one's own flesh and blood, man. It's right there. <laughs> Next of kin, there that is right there. Cousin, uncle, nephew, so on and so forth, man. But the key point is one's own flesh and blood, Blood relation slash relative, family member, you know, a a man who is one of a person's blood relation. So stop with the games of uh, uh, vocab Malone, man. You know what I'm saying? These people are, are, are out of their damn minds, man. So going back, man, to Revel uh, Romans, uh, the first, uh, so like it, Romans, the ninth chapter and verse three, we now know for I could w wish that myself were a curse from whom I shot for my brethren, my kinsmen, you know, that's blood relations, blood relative, next of kin, man, you know, a living, a, a relative, man, according to the flesh, exactly, flesh and blood, man, we just read all of that, and it says, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption, and the glory, and the covenants, and the giving of the law, and the service of the Most High, and the promises, so everything, Goes to those people, man, that are his blood relatives, you know, according to the flesh, man, blood.
You know, it says, whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh, Christ came, Hamashiach came, who is over all the most high blessed forever. Who is over all the most high blessed forever. Aman. You know what I'm saying? So that's who uh, 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 Yahweh Shai that's the flesh that Yahweh Shai is coming for. And he's not coming for all that flesh because pursuing the Zechariah 13 chapter and verse 8, the majority of that flesh is going to be cut off and die. It's going to be destroyed, you know? So the two parts. So he's only coming for that one part, the elect, the one third, man, that remnant that's returning in these times. Isaiah the 10th chapter starting around verse 20 goes into that, you know, and the remnant shall return, man. So that's who uh, uh, Yahweh Shai died for. That's who he's coming to save, man. That's who he's coming. That's the flesh he's coming for. And again, this reiterates what I just said about Zechariah uh, 13 and 8. Verse 6. Not as though the word of the Most High hath taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. You know, we just I just quoted Zechariah 13 and 8. So it's even those Israelites, even though they're Israel, the majority of the nation of Israel is going to be destroyed in this time. You know, cut off and die, man. You know, so this thing is about the one part, the elect, the remnant, the one third, man. You know what I'm saying? But the point is, there's a there's a uh, there's a uh, blood a, a bloodline, man. You know, and that bloodline is Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the twelve sons, and their descendants all the way down up to today, man. You know, and, and so on until until Yahweh returns, man. And after, <laughs> still the, it's still that same bloodline. It's not going to change. It hasn't went anywhere, man. You know, Malachi 3 and 6, the Lord tells you he doesn't change, man. You know, this thing is still about the will of the Lord, the will and purpose uh, 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 and pleasure of the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh, you know, the most high Yahweh through his son, Yahweh Shai, man. You know what I'm saying? All these things are being fulfilled in these times through Yahweh Shai, man. Nothing has changed. He didn't change. He tells you in John, the sixth chapter. Uh, uh, that uh, he came not he came down from heaven not to do his own will but the will of the father his father that sent him man and he tells you in Hebrews 13 and 8 that he's the same uh, 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 yesterday today and forever roughly paraphrasing or today yesterday and forever you know get that mixed up sometime but you you know the scripture you know what I'm talking about so there's no change and nothing has changed you know what I'm saying and 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 Paul is 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 that one of those main vessels that was being used by you <clears throat> by your house Salaki. <clears throat> it was one of those main uh, vessels being used by Yahweh Shai, man. You know, so all of these com these things are, are very clear, man. You know, so everything is for the Israelites. Things are all about Israel, and the next of kin is a person's closest living re a relative. You know what I'm saying? When you go into kinsmen, you know it's blood, man, flesh and blood. <laughs> you know, so. All them trying to get come into this thing by way of Abraham, it's not happening, man. I, we came from Abraham. Cool. And that's why they try to run the Galatians, the third chapter, which we're going to get. But to make another point, when you jump over to the very next chapter, we just established Israel right here, the Israelites. You know, when you when you jump over to the very next chapter, Paul reiterates this. This is Romans chapter 10 and verse one. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to the most high for Israel. <laughs> is that they might be saved. <clears throat> Israel, man, you know, that's who uh, uh, Apostle Paul is praying for, man, to the Most High, Israel, that Israel might be saved. You know, that's who he was speaking to in, in, in the previous chapter, man, the Israelites, my brethren, my kinsmen, my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites. That's who he's about, man, you know, and they get all the promises and blessings. He broke it down in, in, in a verse four, man. You know, so here he reiterates that. So when you jump over to the very next chapter, you know, the 11th chapter, the very first verse, what does he say? I say, then hath the most high cast away his people. Who are the most high's people? The Israelites. God forbid. That means hell no. For I also am an Israelite. So this thing is about the Israelites, man, of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. So he went past Abraham right here of the seed of Abraham. Yeah, but he says of the tribe of Benjamin. So it goes down to the tribes, man. You got Abraham. You got Abraham had Isaac. And of course, we know Abraham has several sons, so which we're going to get into that in Galatians. We'll break that down. And then he goes to the, the seed goes through Isaac. 
Isaac had two sons, Jacob and Esau. You know, Esau got X'd right there because it got to go through uh, Jacob, which we're going to get that as well. And the 12 sons came from Jacob, which are the tribes. That's why he said that of the tribe of Benjamin. So he went, he surpassed Abraham, you know, of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. So he took it to the tribes and, and that, that goes through the, now it goes down to the tribes and the tribes sons and their sons and their sons and so on and so forth all the way up into the day. And it's still going, man, you know, cause the, 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 those sons, the sons of those sons and those forefathers are still having sons that are, are you know, <laughs> until Yahweh Shah returns, man. And this is going to continue in the kingdom. They're going to continue to have, you know, sons. And this thing is going to just continue, man. But it goes past, he surpassed Abraham right here. And then when you read down into the, in, on, so those Gentiles, because that's what he's going to go into from here, prove that these things are talking about Israelites. If you don't have that understanding, because from here, from, from, chap, from uh, chapter 9 into verse 10, into this chapter here where he's still talking about Israel, it's all about Israel for these last uh, uh, several chapters. He's going to go into uh, uh, Gentiles as we read down, you know, I speak to you uh, Gentiles and as much as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify mine office. Yes, uh, Paul, uh, apostle Paul was sent to the Gentiles. It's not talking about the other nations. It's talking about those same Israelites that he's uh, from the tribe of, you know, Benjamin. You know, which he asked the, that which he prayed for in the previous chapter, which in the chapter before that, chapter nine, all the everything he was all about his brethren, his kinsmen, according to the flesh, man, bloodline, blood relatives, you know, which pertaineth all all the uh, 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 blessings and, 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 and promises, man. You know, nothing has changed. These are those are the Gentiles he's, he's going to, man. And which gets us down to uh, verse twenty six. Uh, Romans 11 and 26, and so all Israel shall be saved as it is written, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob, the Israelites, man. Jacob birthed the 12 sons, man, those tribes that he spoke of in the first verse, you know, which he's a tribe of, Benjamin. Come on, man, you know. So Israel shall all be saved uh, uh, at the end of the day, the Israelites, man. And de that uh, deliverer coming out of Zion is is uh, 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 Yahweh Shai, man. You know what I'm saying? And he's going to turn ungodliness away from those people, man. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians of Negro descent. So stop running to uh, uh, Galatians because this is all Paul's writings. Stop running to, to Galatians, the third chapter, to try to make a point. You know, your points are, are being nullified, man, and put to rest. This is Galatians 3 and 16. Now to Abraham and his seed, singular, where the promises made. And we, we now know that the, those promises went from, from uh, uh, Abraham to Isaac because Abraham had eight sons, man. You know, that's why he's going to say what he's going to say in the very next statement. He said, not and to seeds as of many. Yeah, Abraham had eight sons, you know, one with Sarah. One with uh, uh, Hagar, you know, which is Ishmael. We know Isaac is with, is with Sarah. Hagar had Ishmael, which are, are the Arabs, uh, the progenitor of the Arabs. And then you had uh, uh, Keturah, who had six sons. You know, that's eight sons, man. You know, that's why he said the, the, the promises uh, were made to his seed, singular. He said not and to seeds with an S, plural, as of many. <clears throat> so like it, but as of one Isaac and to thy seed, which is Hamashiach, which proves that he's Isaac. <laughs> How to go from Isaac to, to Hamashiach, man, because they're the same person. As a matter of fact, when you read in Matthew, the first chapter, it breaks that down. This is Matthew chapter one and verse one, the book of the generation of Yahweh Hamashiach, the son of David, the son of Abraham. But this right here is talking about who the world ignorantly uh, 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 refers to as Jesus Christ, you know, which is which makes you understand what, what we just read in Galatians, the third chapter in verse 16. You know, that seed is Yahweh Shai, you know, what I'm saying because Yahweh Shai in an incarnation is Isaac. We're reading it right here. The book of the generation of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, the son of David. He was King Solomon, the son of Abraham. He was Isaac. And, and when you read this chapter, uh, Matthew, the first chapter goes into three, uh, uh, 14 
generation periods that Yahweh came on the earth. The first, the first uh, uh, fourteen, he he came through uh, uh, Abraham as Isaac. The second fourteen, you know, he came in uh, uh, through uh, King David uh, as Solomon. And then that last and third and final fourteen, <clears throat> he came through Jacob and Mary as Yahweh Shai, man. <clears throat> so, like you. so he came on the scene three times within this chapter right here, you know, which proves reincarnation, man, you know. And that's what the first verse is talking about, but these Christians can't get. And I don't even think vocab understands this, man. You know, it's not for them. But hey, this thing is about is about uh, Abraham, Isaac. Jacob and the tribes, man, you know what I'm saying, which are Israelites. And I'm going to get one more in a, in a Sirach real quick just to solidify that point because everything is with uh, Jacob, man, you know, went to Jacob. So this is Sirach, uh, Ecclesiasticus, Sirach 44 and verse 22. And it reads, with Isaac did he establish likewise for Abraham, as a matter of fact, hold on, let me read up. Uh, uh, where do I want to start? Uh, I just started verse uh, 19 and read down, but it's going to go, the point is going to be uh, 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 about Jacob and, the, and it's going to go into the tribes. Uh, verse 19, uh, Sirach, Ecclesiastes, Sirach 44, 19. Abraham was a great father of many people in glory was there none like unto him who kept the law of the most high and was in covenant with him. He established a covenant in his flesh and he, and when he was proved, he was found faithful, right? You know, uh, Isaac, you know, he was about to, uh, uh sacrifice his, his, uh, uh, his son, Isaac, you know what I'm saying? Which of course we, we know the story and the Lord, uh, uh, put a, a ram in, in the thicket for that sacrifice. But he was just proven, uh, uh, Abraham, uh, it says, uh, and when he was proved, he was found faithful. Therefore, and that's what it's all about, that faith, man. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, if you don't got faith, man, you're through, man. It's a busted deal for you, man. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of these groups out here, these camps, ain't, ain't they don't got faith, man. You know, they ain't dealing with the, the carnal, man. Verse 21, therefore, he assured him by an oath that he would bless the nations in his seed, in his seed, and that he would multiply him as the dust of the earth and exalt his seed, singular again, as the stars and cause them to inherit from sea to sea and from river unto the utter, utter, uttermost or utmost part of the land. With Isaac did he establish likewise for Abraham, his father's sake, the blessing of all men. And those all men are talking about of the men of Israel and the covenant and made it rest upon the head of Jacob. Boom. He acknowledged him in his blessing and gave him an heritage and divided his portions among the 12 tribes. Did he part them? So this thing is about Abraham, Isaac, Jacob on down to the 12 tribes on into today. Those sons, you know, because how was the, as a matter of fact, let me get one more because how is that is, is a lineage uh, uh, established, man, you know? Through the, the house of the fathers, man. You know, this is Numbers chapter 1. And as a matter of fact, you can read verse 2. Take ye the sum of all the congregation of the children of Israel. So like, yeah. After their families, by the house of their fathers, with the number of their names, and every male by their poles. But here's the point down in verse 18 that we always go to. Numbers 1 and 18, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees, their lineage, their line, you know, after their families by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their poles. So this thing is about the, the, the fathers, man. They're the, they carry the seed, you know what I'm saying? So... From Abraham, that's why when you read in Matthew and you read in these scriptures, it's, it's a male begetting another male, man. You know, see those stumbling blocks, those those, those snares and stumbling blocks of, of, of when he put Mary, in, you know, that's got these Christians through and got vocab alone, all these unlearned through, you know, those are just traps and snares and, and, and you know, things set up 
by the Lord for you not to be able to get it, man, to throw you off, man, you know? So these things are about the father from, from, from Abraham to Isaac to Jacob to the 12 sons to their sons and so on and so on and so on as they used to do in that prayer commercial, you know? <laughs> you know, so on up into the day and those, those, those sons are still continuing to have sons, you know what I'm saying? Which is going to go back to the tribe, to the, to the, to the, uh, the, that, uh, blessed, uh, uh, lineage, you know, that, that line, man, that chosen seed line. And that's what it's about, man. So stop running to Paul. Like you making some point, man, you know, vocab and, and Christians and you unlearn, man, you know, you, there, there, your point is no, as a no point, man, you know, this thing is about the Israelites. So, you no, know, with that, I just want, you know, spirit jumped on me, wanted to do a real quick, let uh, hit lesson. You know, hopefully this was edifying to the hopeful elect with that giving all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone and peace and blessings to the elect, the house of David, the Bayath, Shah Dawadash, Shalom.